Hello, welcome back to my island love bug. This is my Valentine's Fairy Court Island and we are building today. Of course we are, that's why we're here. Now we have a bit of a different thing, project, build to do today. So let's get into it. I'm actually at the top of my island, right at the back. See, you can see we're right here, there's a lot of stuff. Also, this is just stuff I picked up that I wanna use for this build today. So I thought, why put it away in the storage and try and find it again when I can just put it on the floor and make Isabel upset by the best. But anyway, there is a lot of fossils up here. Also, we need to whack in our house. Now, my thinking, my thinking right here is I want to put Marcy here. So let's go get Marcy's house. Also, I have no clue where I've put my storage shed. So I'm going to have to find that as well. So that's going to be fun. I found it. I found my storage shed. All right, let's pop it here. We're going to just put everything here for now because I don't know how much space this build is going to take up and I just don't know. I, I don't. So right, I've got Marcy's house as well. So let's go put our house in here. We need to do a quick bit of time traveling because I need to actually move her house into place so we can actually build. And then I have a big project I want to do that I'm hoping will come out cute. Like I always say, I just hope. Okay, so there's Marcy's house. It looks so cute. Do you know what? For some reason, I didn't think she was in one of these round bubbly looking houses. I thought she was in one of the square town house things i don't know why i just thought she was right anyway we've got to do a bit of clearing up first there seems to be fossils everywhere and there's a rock and oh my gosh this whole mess okay so the first thing we need to do is put in some codes okay this isn't gonna make sense i'm gonna use this again <laughs> I feel like I've used this in every build lately. Not that that's a bad thing. I just, I really like this pink decking. I don't know how big I want it. So that's one, two, three, four. I'm at the point of panic now with this island. I probably said that in the last four videos. I'm like, I do not have long left to build this. I have what days rather than weeks or maybe like one week in a bit i don't know it depends when i release this video but yeah i do not have long to finish this island which is absolutely crazy okay so the idea i should actually explain what the idea is for this also i'm completely going against the idea that i wanted to do i'm gonna move this back over to here instead so we've got a gap down the side of marcy's house at least actually maybe even one more I haven't even told you all what I'm doing, even though it's probably on the thumbnail, but it might not be. It depends what I write. But I'm actually building a little romantic restaurant. So the restaurant is owned by Marcy. You can come along and have a romantic deal with your partner. That's basically what it is for. I was originally thinking of having Gail up here, but I might put her next to Marcy. It depends on space. I don't know about what I've got for space-wise yet, so I'm gonna just leave it. Also, you might be thinking to yourself, why is it so small for a restaurant? Because it's not gonna stay as just this bit for the restaurant. I have another plan. I didn't want to use just the decking for the restaurant floor, because I thought that would be very, very big, and also that means I have to make it square because of the decking you know it being straight lines and all although i am still kind of tempted hmm do you know what actually i have an idea i have an even better idea we're going to scrap this i have a better idea <laughs> Actually, no, what am I doing? I don't want to scrap this. I know exactly what I want to do. I think I'm going to bring this all the way along. Oh, that's huge. Oh, <gasps> I was going to say I'm going to bring it all the way along, but that's that's quite far. That is really far. Let's count the squares. So we have one, two. So up to here is already 10. Let's keep going. So this last one makes 20. That is 20 along. And we have this gap here. So, okay, that seems that seems better. So then if we bring it down by four, maybe, or maybe even five. Okay, this whole area is going to be just this plank. Please trust the process. I know sometimes I also question what I'm doing at that moment, in the moment. But you just have to trust. You have to believe that I know what I'm doing. Because if you don't, then who does? Who does know? So I'm just going to quickly fill in this whole area with this plank code. And then we can get into decorating. I don't know if I'm going to break this up with other little codes in between. Just to kind of make it a little bit more fun. I might do. I might I might do that. I did it. I covered the whole thing. Oh no, I lied. I missed this corner. <laughs> oh no. I was like, yay, we did it. Didn't take that long. Missed the corner. Right, that's, that's that done. 
that looks fine. I'm now going to go and grab some fencing so that we can make some sort of something out of this crazy mess. Okay, so behind Marcy's house, we're going to stick in the vertical board fence. I just really like the vertical board fence. It blocks off a lot what's behind whatever you're putting it on. That makes no sense, that sentence, I'm sorry. You know what I mean, it blocks it off. So I really like using this fence and it's only gonna go to there because then I wanna go and grab the hedges. I wanna put some hedges going down this way, like so. And then I'm gonna do the same the other side. So I wanna go right down here and whack these hedges in. I'm not too bothered about this front part yet. We'll deal with that later. But I then wanna get the iron fence and now I've got it in red because I really like it in red. It looks really cute, especially with all the pink. Pink. And we're just gonna dot this down like so. I'm probably gonna stick hedges in between, but I just wanted to make sure I like this and that it lined up properly. Oh, it doesn't line up properly. That's so annoying because it needs to go there. Oh, I guess what I could do is will two work? So two and then a hedge. Oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> doesn't work oh no oh this game is just so strenuous sometimes right maybe we alter it a little bit i'm determined to get this to work so one two and three and one two and three and then the middle could just be a double hedge that works for me so now i want to fill in the double hedges also look you get this beautiful view so i'm actually planning to put tables and chairs along here so it looks like it is the restaurant area and i think it'll look really nice with them and you get this beautiful view of the ocean imagine Imagine sat up here and seeing that. Also, I'm now thinking, oh no, don't use, don't do this, Brian, don't do this. I want to put fairy lights along here now. <laughs> I want to put all the fairy lights. So I'm going to pick up all this and change my mind. Of course, I'm always changing my mind. Now, what we're going to do is... Where's our grass code? I want to get the grass code. And I want to stick it here. And then I'm going to do the other one all the way across the back here. And this is where our lights will go. And then I'm going to use the hedging going this way it will look nice i promise i hope i'm kind of tempted actually to put some trees as well because then it will make it look really really pretty okay that's perfect i think i'm gonna pick this piece up and put a tree here and then i'm gonna do the same the other side as well and then I need to get a bunch of lights. I don't know how many I'm going to need. Oh gosh, I don't even know. Right, let me grab my trees. So we want to pop one in here and then one right down the other side as well. There we go. That looks kind of cute. Right, now I need to see. I don't think I have enough party lights, but I'm going to check. Amazing. I only have two. We will be getting some more. Also, I'm going to pop trees in throughout. So every two squares, we're going to want to put a tree. How is it going to work though with the fencing? It's fine. It's fine. I want the trees more than anything. I wanted a tree here and a tree here, but maybe we won't do the trees. Maybe the trees will be too much, you know? Maybe, maybe we don't need them. I can't believe I'm saying that, but maybe. I mean, I might put a couple in the middle. In the middle here, I might put a couple. It might look nice, but let's get some of the lights in because I only had two. So I'm going to have to go get some more of those. But you get the idea of what we're trying to do. So I want to put these all along the back. And then put a couple more trees. And then put some tables and chairs. It looks so pretty. I have returned with some lights. All right, let's get them in place along here at least. And then we can sort out where we want some extra trees. I definitely need them in the middle, like I said, because... Oh, no. Oh, it's not equal. Oh, no. Okay, let's fix it. I think it's like that down the other end. Let me go see. Yeah. Okie dokies. We have got to fix this. This this might be a sign of where we have to put our trees. Can we fit three each side? Oh, I can. And then I can put a tree in the middle. Okay, yes. So push these over like that. And then I'm going to have to pop my tree here. Oh, it doesn't go right in the middle. Unless we space them out like this. And then put a tree here and a tree here and a tree here. Oh, it doesn't. It's so annoying. This game is annoying. I'm not even joking. This game is annoying. I love how every video lately has come up with an issue of some kind. Like we've come into some sort of issue when decorating. And today it is this. See, I think that looks okay. We can probably get away with just that. And then push you over and then we'll stick a tree. Wait, is there three this side and two that's... Oh, no. Pop you there. I'm not too bothered about the floor the floor can wait let's put some lights in i mean that looks right doesn't it i think that looks right i don't think that looks so bad okay i like it it's it's fine i gotta stop being so picky let's put our hedges in now i can put the red fencing back in at least so that's good i hope i like this no i don't it's gonna have to be the hedges it's gonna have to be because you can see right through and i just don't like that you can see you know everything 
See, that looks so much better. You can't see through. I'm just being picky, okay? It's one of those days where I'm just being really, really picky. I might put the red fence in front. But then that means we might have to bring this out a bit further. But that's not a problem because we've got quite a big space to fill. So that might be an okay thing. There is a mole cricket and it's driving me crazy. I'm not even kidding. This mole cricket needs to stop. <laughs> it needs to stop doing its crickety cricken business because i can't be dealing with that it's the most annoying bug in the game actually to be honest i don't really like the cicadas but the difference with those is that you can just not decorate when they're about you can just change the date and decorate at a different date and then they won't bug you you know no pun intended but the mole cricket is always here right the bushes right in goes our bushes Okay, they look pretty nice. Now, I do need to bring this forward one, I think, because there's not a lot of space, unless I can make it work. Okay, I'm thinking either side here, I might put in a decorative pillar, but I'm actually thinking of picking you up and putting the decorative pillar in there instead. Okay, that looks something. That looks like something. I have no opinion right now. Let's stick another one in there. I mean, I think that looks kind of nice. I'm going to quickly bring this out some more, just because I need to put something on the edge. The mole cricket needs to quit it. I can't. I can't deal with the ball cricket. Now, I know this is a checkout counter, but look, it's it's just a cute little something. If you turn it around, it's not even a counter. And then I'm going to put some lovely, beautiful carnations on the top. How stinking adorable. Going to do the same the other side. Checkout counter, carnations. Absolute beautiful. It looks so pretty. Now we need to get our tables. I do have various tables that I don't know how they're gonna look. I'm hoping I can make this look really pretty. I mean, the cinnamon roll tables I thought were very sweet and fitting, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna look. I don't want to put anything down here. I think I might stick some flower beds. Uh, we want to leave a space for a chair so the chairs can go there. For some reason in my head, I want the cute chair. I think that looks really nice. I'm probably gonna need some more of these chairs though. I'm definitely gonna run out. I like the cute chair because it does actually have a heart. See, if you're able to spend, see, you can see there's actually a heart in the top part there, which is really nice and it works so well for my island. We won't worry about putting the food on top just yet. I just want to get the tables in first. Now, I know I got some covered round tables, but I do not know what color they are. <laughs> this one is pink. This one is red. Okay, I think I'm going to swap this one out for a red one. We're going to put a chair here and a chair here. And then over here, I'm going to add another table. Maybe we'll add the pink one now. This is a very crowded restaurant. Right, let's pull you forward. Actually, no, no, no. Push it this way. This could be too much. I don't know. Let's add our lovely little cute chair. Do I have another chair in my bag right now? No. I don't have a cinnamon roll table though. Cinnamon roll? Oh, cinnamon roll, but cinnamon rolls are lovely. I love cinnamon. Anything with cinnamon, I'm sold. A red one. Okay, so you know I said I didn't want it to look the same each side. Seems that it was a lie because I'm doing the same each side. I know I always change my mind, but come on. <laughs> I do need more chairs. We have run out of chairs. Unless I use different chairs. I might have some different chairs in my storage. I'm going to have to check. So I have no more chairs in my storage. Perfect. In that case, I'll have to go and get some more chairs in a minute. Actually, I might be able to make them. I might be able to make the chairs that I want because I want the metal ones. I think they're called the iron garden chairs. I want to make those, so I might be okay. But right, let's do an extra layer of this and bring it all the way across. This area looks so big. It looks huge. It looks like a a boardwalk it's not but it looks like it also it doesn't look like it's anything to do with marcy's house we still have to do marcy's house we have to still put stuff everywhere is a lot to do let's see how we feel about another table i'm not sure how i feel about another table i think another another table is way too much although it could look cute actually no just just carry on if i need another table i can just get one so i did make a bunch of chairs i made the iron garden chair because i did have the diy and i think it looks really cute i know we might be concerned that there's too many different variations of chairs going on but do you know what to be honest i really like it also in my head i thought to myself we should just bring this forward we got more space now 
Although I do believe that once I stick fencing in, you might not be able to get to that table over there. So that could be an issue unless, oh no, she sat. Unless we push them right up, which we could do this, right? It could just go right up. And then at least you'll be able to get through. That actually kind of looks better. I feel like that gives us lots more space to work with. And it also fills a bigger amount of space. Now I made eight of these chairs and customized them in white. Also, I feel like now we could probably pull this across. Yeah, there we go. That gives everything a lot more space. Happy, happy, happy. See, sometimes you just gotta rearrange a few things before you get it just right. Just perfect, just how you like it. I'm thinking we need to sort out along here now. So let's get our hedges. Do I want just hedges? Mm, hang on, I've just maybe made a mistake and I kind of like it. Wait, move. <laughs> This storage shed needs to move. I may have just made a mistake and love it. So if we go along with two and then do another two, although we know what's going to happen. So I'm going to have to make sure I do both sides at the same time because otherwise it's just not going to look equal and it's going to bug me and then I'm going to moan about it. So we're going to make sure we get this right. Oh, it kind of works. We could put another one in. Oh, it's so pretty. Perfect. But now the only issue we have is I've got to go back in with this. I got to put this underneath all of the hedges that we've just placed, but that's okay. Okay, so there we go. I've done all the underneath code. I know I've got this little bit sticking out here, but we'll fix that in just a bit. I just want to put all the hedges back and then maybe we could put a cute little archway here. I'm thinking maybe the ruined or the wedding arch. I'm going to try both and see which one I prefer. But look how different this makes it look. It looks less square everything just looks like a better shape by the way we might not even get round to doing marcy's house today this looks like it's just gonna be a restaurant build <laughs> I'm not mad about that, of course, but I wanted to get Marcy's house done. Also, I was originally going to put a huge water something here, but do you know what? We don't need to do that now. No. So I'm just going to put some of our road down. I think the road is only three wide. We could probably get away with putting it like that. So yeah, if we put the road all the way along, I think to maybe about here, because then I could give Marcy her own little private garden. Also, I think, you know, if I was able and had time to do the interiors of the house, I would have made Marcy's house look like it was the kitchen maybe I don't know I'm not gonna do a kitchen I'm just gonna stick with this being a restaurant on its own I've already done a bakery kitchen I've already done like a prepping for the apples area in my last video so I don't really want to build another kitchen I think it just looks nice like this it's the illusion right and anyway this is animal crossing it really doesn't need to be that realistic the food comes out of your pockets like you can have a whole carrot cake in your pocket how is that normal it's not normal so we don't need to worry about everything being realistic okay there's that for now we'll worry about the borders and the little grass touches afterwards i do want to get a sidewalk in though what do i want to use for my sidewalk i'm kind of tempted to use the heart stones but then at the same time i'm kind of just want to use i think i might just use this white one and then break it up with other colors this is a lot of code placing right now i need to do this side and then do the other side do you know what? i'll just be back when i finished it that's the easiest option most of the time because you don't want to watch me put down the same code all in one line. You just, you just don't. I know you don't. Okay, so I finished off the road and I finished off the sidewalk. I don't know what I'm doing this end yet, so I've kind of left it. Also, Cookie's here, okay? Cookie, that's not your house. Imagine if she opened the door and just broke into Marcy's house. That would be kind of amusing. I would be amused. Now, I did want to stick little ponds here, but I don't think they're going to fit. Unless we make little hearts out of this. Could this look like a heart? I really want hearts. Mainly for the map because it will look cute. Oh wait, that's got to be a sticky out piece. Let's, let's put it back. All right, got to curve these edges around. And then yeah, look, they look like cute little hearts. Don't know how I'm going to decorate them, but I don't care. I love it. We've got to do the same this side. All right, let's round the corners off again. And then we'll have some cute little heart features. I'm probably just going to chuck a custom code on top. We might as well just do that now. You know, why not go over the top of it a little bit. I've got this cute code. This looks kind of adorable. I hope it doesn't ruin the heart illusion though. Oh no, it still looks like a heart. Cookie is here to check out the restaurant it seems. Or oh, she's just here to bother us. Also, she's really cute. I really like Cookie. If you like Cookie, let me know. 
Let me know if you love Cookie. Or what's your favorite dog villager? Let me know. I feel like we don't really talk about the dog villagers. So that make a change. Now in here, I want to stick a tree. You knew that was coming. I always stick trees everywhere. But let's put another tree here. Also, I did go and get my flower beds. You know, I said I wanted flower beds along here. I'm hoping they go the right way around. Otherwise, I'm going to be very upset. And, oh, no. This, this is how life goes. All right, I'm going to have to pick this up to put my flower bed in. Although now I'm thinking to myself that I'm not going to be able to fit two. No. Two is not allowed. It said no. Okay, if that's the case, maybe we could put one round this way instead and then just push it over. Does that look cute? Or should I pull it across? No, it definitely has to go like that. No, right across. <laughs> I'm being indecisive. Okay, that looks fine. I like it. Let's do the same the other side, you know, since it won't let us. I push it over. That looks really pretty. I think it looks nice. I think I might use my other flower beds that I have left and stick them here. I also have some street lamps with banners. Okay, I like them there, but I am going to pick it up and put down some grass code because I don't like them just on the grass. I don't know what's wrong with me. I have to put code underneath everything. I will eventually grow out of that habit. I need to do an island where I'm not allowed to do that. <laughs> All right, stick it in. And look how pretty that looks. Oh, I really like it. I wish I could move these over towards the lights, but I cannot. Also, I have this huge space here. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I guess we'll have to raid my storage. Do you know what? We also got to do some fencing or something across here. Oh, we got so much to do. I don't know if I'm going to like this. If I do like this, I'm going to have to go get some more. Because I only have four. Do I like these along here? No. No. No, I do not. It's gonna have to be hedges. I don't know what I'm building here. We've got this weird small space now between Apple's house and this area. Oh, we've run out of hedges. I do have more in my storage, but I'm just being a little bit lazy. Do I like it all just hedges? It's gonna have to just stay. Although, do you know what might be really cute? I'm gonna get my simple wooden fence out because I like those in between. Okay, so I'm just kind of planning out where I want my fence to go, my wooden fence. I think that works. I've left two here because I didn't want it to look really strange with the little crosswalk. Even though it's not technically a crosswalk because I haven't put the lines on the road. But you know, you get the idea with the little... I don't know what these are called. I don't know what this is called. But you get the idea with those. So, there. <laughs> right, let's carry on putting this across here. We also have to finish so much over the other side with the restaurant and the little decoration bits around the restaurant. Oh, I feel like there's just... Yeah, there's so much left to this island and I'm kind of hoping... Well, I'm going to have to rush through quite a lot because we need to get it done. But I don't want to rush it too much that it comes out really strange. Right, more hedges. I want to stick hedges across here. Do I want to do the same thing? I might do the same thing with what I did over here. Um, yeah, okay, we will. Cookie, are you going to come through? Okay, off she goes. Maybe she's... Oh, I don't know where she's going. I don't know what she's doing, where she's going, when she's going. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything with Cookie. Okay, that's looking adorable. I love it. I am very tempted to move these forward now onto here. Oh, yes, they look so much cuter. And then maybe behind here, we could stick in some bushes or something. I don't think I have anything else. I mean, the plant petitions, I think, look a little bit strange, but I am going to try. Oh, no, maybe they look okay. Oh, they look kind of okay for the restaurant area. Yeah, I like them. I picked up some pillars, but I don't know where I was planning on putting those. I got a ruined pillar to go there and then I've got another one probably for the other side but I don't think it's going to look right. I don't know if this is going to be too much but then on the other side of that I really like it when it's too much. Do you know what? I like it. I like it being too much. <laughs> I am however thinking of adding some more trees. I don't want to put one right here so I'm going to shove it on the corner. Just so we get a little bit of height that side. See, we need it. We needed a little bit of something. Could do the same this side. Perfect. Right, we need to go grab some bushes and flowers. All right, let's get them in place. So I'm going to put a bush here and then probably a bush here. I don't think I picked up enough bushes. <laughs> Oh dear. It's fine. Right, let's chuck in a flower here. We're going to use the red one. I'm going to leave this plain because the whole idea is that it's a pretty little heart. Let's do the same this side. There we go. I think it looks quite nice. I think it looks really pretty. I am tempted to add another flower here. I don't know what else I'd put here otherwise. I'm going to go with the pink rose. Right, let's do it on the other side. Cookie's just sitting there out of the way. We can deal with that. So if in here, I don't actually have a checkout counter. I only have the one I use, which has... Oh, gosh that wasn't meant to happen i only have the one that i put the carnations on and i don't really want to use the same thing oh i was hoping this table would look really cute i mean i guess it kind of looks
looks like an area where you can check in, right? Check in for your table. Also, I'm going to stick some other things around. This is too plain. This whole area is too plain. I don't like it. It needs to be more busy. I need to get another gift pile and stick it here. And I need to get some food. Oh my gosh, we got so much to put in that restaurant. Okay, we're going to spin that round. And then I did pick up a till wherever it is. I picked up a lot of stuff. Antique cash, cash register can go there. Because then it looks like you come in and you pay sort of thing. Unless I put it sideways. The sideways might be cuter. Yeah, I like sideways. Will I still be able to fit my gift pile in? Yes. Over here, I want to stick in a balloon. No, not allowed. Can I try again? I am allowed. Cute. I really wish these were heart shaped. They would look so adorable. Actually, do you know what? I don't like it there. I think it would look nicer here in the corner because then I can stick one the other side as well. Now, on the tables, we're just going to put down some random stuff. So we've got a peach pie for this table. They're sharing a pie. We've got some pancakes for this table. Cherry pie for this table. Actually, no. Maybe change it up so it's not two pies next to each other. Let's put a jelly here. On this one, we got a pie. What's this last food item that I have? I have another jelly. Do I have more food? Oh, I got an afternoon tea set. Okay, that's really cute. It looks like everyone's having their little shared couples dinner. I love it. Also, just to add some more stuff to everything, because we love, we love stuff. I've got this little serving cart. I'm gonna pop a glass of fizzy apple juice on there. So it looks like you're pushing it to a table. I don't want you to not be able to get through though. So maybe if we put it there, maybe even give it a spin. Maybe we put it there. It looks a bit more like the restaurant is busy, you know? Gonna give it a push. Although I like the side view. I just wanna be able to get through so you can see everything. Right, let's go pop our balloon this side now because I have another red balloon. And it goes. Cute. I do need some stuff on the floor. I'm thinking the red leaf piles said that they look like rose petals. Okay, so something I wanted to put along here, but I only have one of, is this flower stand. But I feel like it's going to look really strange just on its own. So I might leave that and get some more and put them somewhere else. Benches would look pretty along here, but I don't want to overdo it as well. What else do I have that I can use? I have a garden wagon. Maybe the garden wagon would look really nice. Maybe someone's making flower deliveries. Also, I have a scooter. I'm going to stick a scooter this side i think i need some trees again of course i do i'm gonna stick them along here because it will help with down there because down there's some houses so we need a little bit of height going on so we're gonna put in some pink trees i only have two pink trees okay that will limit me that's a good thing. Where's our little crosswalk? Oh, it's there. Maybe we'll stick a tree here. I'm going to need to grab some more and do the same the other side. But I will be putting a tree here. And how many spaces across is it? One, two, three, four. Okay, so four. So I just want to mark it. One, two, three, four. So one went here as well. So it's equal. We got a little crosswalky thingamajiggy. What is it called? I don't know. Crosswalk signal. There it is. Pop you here. So you know when to cross the road to come over to the restaurant. I was going to put an archway here, but it's definitely going to overdo it not that this isn't overdone already i got a phone box for whatever reason i have a phone box okay it looks slightly better it makes the floor look less less plain and boring it's just one i think one for now is fine i don't want to overdo it because i could definitely see myself overdoing it really easy with this island i was gonna put more benches along but i don't think that's a good idea also i'm gonna put you more so here because i think i'm gonna bend this round don't know what i'm gonna put on the end here but i'm sure we'll think of something i need to get some trees to go in there so i need to grow some more first before we can do that here's actually marcy's house that we didn't actually do anything with today i guess we could give her a cute little something something right maybe we'll give her a something something i don't know we might leave it we might have to leave that till a little bit later unless i do um, do you know i'm just gonna do it now stop leaving things the last minute just do it you got this right, let's pop in a tree i'm gonna pop in a cedar first and then i'm gonna pop in a hardwood tree just right here just i always like to do this especially on the edges of cliffs i do need some bushes which i didn't grab just a second ago so go me i need to put a load of bushes actually do you know I'm gonna need the bushes sooner rather than later. First though, I think I'm gonna do a pathway. I love how Cookie is still here and she doesn't even live up here. Nope. She lives down by the heart pond because we did her house. We did Cookie's crafts. So that's rather amusing. Right, let's put the last little line in and then the last of the sidewalk. I don't think I like that. Honestly, don't know what I'm doing with Marcy's house. I don't have a clue. Maybe we could give her a little pond. Maybe she could have a heart pond. Oh, 
no. Why do we love terraforming so much? I hate terraforming, but I have to keep doing it. Apparently, I'm addicted to terraforming. In my head, this will come out okay. Although it's going to have to be bigger, right? Right, Cookie, you cannot get in the way, please. Please don't sit. Cookie, please, now is not the time. <laughs> Cookie is just here bothering me. See, that first part's come out correct. Cookie, I swear to gosh, <laughs> he's getting closer and closer to me. I think it's too close to the edge. I think that's my problem. I'm going to try it again, but I'm going to try it further away from the edge. Oh, no, she sat. She did, didn't she? She sat. Oh, she got up. Okay. She heard me. Oh, no. Cookie. Look, everyone probably really likes seeing you because you're adorable, but you're in the way. Let's try again. Right, chop this piece. And then I'm going to chop this piece. And then I'm going to chop this piece. I'm going to chop in this middle piece. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this piece. But this needs to be a straight piece. So that this piece can be like a little cornered piece like so. The same here. I need to chop you away so that I can make you... An angled piece. Then I think I need to put a piece here and then here and then here. So go across by three again. Cut out that middle piece. Oh my gosh. I hope this comes out like a heart. I'm just trying to use my knowledge. I'm trying to pretend that this is pathing. You know how I did the path one? But just bigger. Perfect. And then this has got to go all the way down to here. And then we got to cut away all this middle. Oh, I think it's going to work. Oh, it's working. It's working. I'm so happy. Marcy's got a cute heart pond. Stop. It looks adorable. I want another one. I really want another one here. Will I be able to fit in another one? How big is it? One, two, three, four, five. It's five. It's too much. I think it's too much if I put another one in. Yeah, don't do it. Don't do it. Just do the one. Now we need to get some pathway in. I love how I try to convince myself that you don't need another one. Because <laughs> I really can't help myself. When I think something's nice, I want to build it more and more. I can always build more elsewhere on this island because there is nothing wrong with having little hearts everywhere. I mean, it is a Valentine's island, so you might as well put hearts everywhere. You watch heart ponds appear in every single video from now until I'm finished. You just watch. I mean, it's not anything too crazy, that little heart pond. It's just, I wanted it to look cute on the map and I wanted more hearts and Marcy deserves a heart pond because she's probably working super hard to run this little restaurant. Dig up this, this glowing spot because it's getting to the point now where we're going to have glowing spots in every single build. I don't think I need any more trees right now. I don't know what I'm going to stick around here, actually, to be honest. I love how I started this and don't know what I'm doing. Right, hedges, maybe? I need to grab those again. I put them away. So I put hedges there and then I'm just gonna pop in some cute little simple wooden fencing i want to not put it right next to the pond there we go that looks really sweet now i need to do a little pathway from here to up to the other pathway that leads to marcy's house we're just gonna go with the same one i think the dirt is just easier at this point oh no am i gonna have to pick something oh i don't want to pick anything up oh i am i'm gonna have to pick you up <laughs> so annoying i always complain a lot this game i've been playing it for four years now and it still bugs me sometimes now i want to put a little plank code just in between these two dirt paths also because i think it might look cute i'm going to stick a pathway around the heart pond i don't think i like it fully being all planks i might kick away some so i'm gonna kick away this one and then this one. Oh, that looks kind of better once we stick flowers and glow moss in, I think it will look nice. Sometimes it's about finding the right balance of numbers of stuff. And I feel like I've done that for this bit, so that's good. Also, I'm going to use this heart blanket that I absolutely adore, which I wish I used more. I mean, I've got plenty of time to use it more. Apparently, Marcy loves hearts. Who would have thought? <laughs> Who would have thought that Marcy likes hearts? Doesn't she have a heart on her? Or does she wear heart clothes? I don't even know. Oh, I really want to stick another part of that code here. I really want to stick another one. So I'm going to just do it because why not? I'm going all out today. Marcy deserves all the love. Let's get some little bit of decoration going on and get some plants. So we need some flowers especially. So before I know what I need to bring over to decorate with. Oh. Actually, I need to put a custom code here because I'm going to put a giant vine here. I know that for sure. All right, I need to pop in some bushes. We need bushes desperately. Also, didn't grab my glowing moss. Of course I didn't. I'm going to grab it in a second. Let me just pop down some flowers. I always forget it. Right, I first of all have picked up a bench. I did. I picked up a plaza bench to go in there because I thought it'd be quite nice. It saves just putting the hedges all the way along. I think it looks really sweet. I got to put my giant vine on top. 
See, it just looks perfect. I wish I had another one, but I do not. I don't have another one to go here. Maybe I'll just put a mushroom here. Maybe a mushroom would look cute. Yeah, so we might get a mushroom to go on there. Let's pop in some of our glowing moss because I actually have it now. Of course, it put a big piece there, but you can't see it. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> you can't really see that piece. Right, there goes our large mushroom platform. I did also pick up the little one. I can't help it. <laughs> I just want to pop it here. Just there. See, that looks perfectly fine. And you can still walk across here, especially if I put glowing moss down. Oh, of course, it's going to be that big piece. I hate that big piece. Why? <laughs> just be different there we go right let's stick in some more flowers just so we can fill out the area a little bit more also i'm thinking instead of adding flowers in between the planks i think we should add custom cards i'm just gonna add these cute little patterns the little like leaves and stuff whatever they are i mean obviously between some of the bits we could add glowing moss right that would look okay. Yeah, like that. I think the game knows. It's like, yeah, you don't want the big pieces. We get it. <laughs> Here, though, I do want to add between the fences. I want to add some flowers. It just kind of breaks everything up. I'm always on about breaking stuff up. What is wrong with me? See, it knows. <laughs> it knows it's like we get it we get it you don't want the bigger pieces of glowing moss. We understand. You wait, it's gonna be a bigger piece now. Watch, 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 watch. Oh, okay. That's fine. I like that size too. I need to grab some more flowers. Don't know if I like that there. That might look better this side. I don't think I like it at all. No, I don't think I do. Right, I did pick up some barrels. I want to stick a barrel here and then I want to stick another barrel here as well. On top, I was going to put the cassette player, but I think it might look better on the floor. Yeah, I think so. I'm probably going to stick a tree here. Although I don't want to ruin the illusion of the pond. So maybe no tree. I don't know what I'm going to stick here yet. Maybe we'll put the tree here and then put something else here. I don't know. I'm going to leave that bit, I think. I am thinking we should stick these lovely carnations outside of... I was going to call her Matilda. Her name is Marcy. Outside of Marcy's house. Just so it looks like someone has given her flowers. It looks so cute. And then... Oh, I have a tree, but I'm just going to stick it here. And hope that it doesn't ruin ruin too much. No, I don't think it does. You can still see that's a heart. I'm hoping this is enough to finish it off. If not, I'll have to go grab more. <laughs> I have loads grown, so it's not too much of an issue. Will a balloon look nice here or is it going to look strange? I don't like the balloon. I think a stool would look better. Of course it would. Maybe the balloon will look nice here. I didn't want it there. I want it a bit further on to the left. All right, let's put a bit of glowing moss here just to fill that gap. Oh, it's a big piece again. It's back to giving me the big pieces. Okay, I have some leaf piles that we can quickly chuck down. I've got a pink one. I've got a red one or another pink one. Actually, do you know what? The pink one will look nice. It'll look better than having the stool. Oh, we can't chuck the red one down apparently. What a shame. Maybe the red will go here. Also, I am aware I haven't done this part yet. I need to grow some more trees and I need to figure out what I, I want to actually put here because I don't know yet. I don't really just want to chuck a bunch of flowers in, but it might be going that way. And then a little balloon. Hey, that looks better than nothing, right? Oh no, why do I have to do this to myself? I don't need to put things everywhere. Actually, do you know what? I, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to try my best to leave that bit. It's me trying to learn. But yeah, I think Marcy's little area has come out really cute. And do you know what? On that note, I believe we finished today's build, apart from a couple of trees but I need to grow those. But anyway, let's look around. So ignoring these two bare patches here where I need to put trees and that's to remind myself, this is what we built today first. So we've got this lovely walkway towards a restaurant area. I think this came out really good and it's such a good space filler as well. We filled out a big whole chunk of my island by doing this. And I feel like you can't have a Valentine's Island and not have a place to have a romantic meal with your partner. Now going down here, we have Marcy's house. Marcy owns the restaurant but I just give her a cute little yard with a little heart pond because I desperately wanted another heart pond somewhere and you know what I think it's just come out sweet it's very natural very adorable and I think it's perfect for Marcy don't know what I'm gonna do down here yet still I might still fill it with flowers who knows I'm sure you'll find out by the end of the uh, island finishing I was gonna put benches along here but also again thought it'd be too much so not going to but overall I'm very happy happy with this area and how it came out today and there we have it we finished today's build as usual i always have fun building on my island 
friends now if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe come join the jelly bean family hope you have the loveliest days and i will see you in my next video goodbye